You're too paranoid of a leak. Well, AIOs in general, the big problem isn't going to be a leak. It's going to be them like having their formula wrong or mixing metals and stuff like that. And you not knowing about it, and then it resulting in a completely clogged up thing and your stuff overheating and frying itself. Uh, this is online. But I'm... These are account self-found, rather than completely solo self-found. We're not trading or anything like that. This is the same character I've been doing the past few streams, but yes, we do play it online. Only time it won't be online is if you see me, like, building, like, test builds and stuff like that. Let's see. Let's go ahead and nuke them. I forget if it's actually going to show the password when I do this. I forgot to turn this on again. Because for a while there, yeah. Okay, why did it not actually do it? So game name and password, apply. Okay, it's just not going to show it. That's fine. But I am online. I knew that would show the game name at least. Air works if it spins. But if a pump fails and you don't know it, you're cooking your CPUs for dinner. Yep. Pretty much. And that's one reason why I'm not a big fan of... I don't like having to remember all that. And if you do a custom loop, you actually have to worry about changing the fluid and stuff like that. And also you have to worry about with AIOs, the, it just slowly losing liquid after a while. Just because, you know, that's how things work. It's how physics do. That's how physics do, my friend. That is not what I wanted to do, but thank you. I didn't realize I had swap skills, so now we had a level 1 Valkyrie instead of our level 15, which sucks. <laughs> a full rune, yay. I mean, I like the look of custom loops and stuff like that, but... Am I going to be doing them? God, no. I can barely be arsed to actually build a computer. But let's see. I know that some people really love it. I, I'm okay with it, and I can repair stuff, but I'm not a big fan of just building computer after computer. That's why I'm not a tech reviewer or anything like that. It's like, I could review products. I'm not going to sit there and, like, review video cards and stuff. Ow, no! There's a lot through that door that I don't want to be dealing with, but we're going to deal with anyway. It's all lightning immune. Thankfully, they're not too strong against the Valk. Why are you guys not taking any damage whatsoever? Your big brothers took a lot more damage, and why is our merc oh, the mercenary... Mercenary, stop being a complete dumbass and come over here. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> oh, Pathfinding 101. Literally, you should have it check the path at least a few times. You made money building, so you did. Yeah, that's understandable. I mean, we all got to make money somehow. Would it be a bad idea to run a duck from an AC unit to a PC for cooling? <sighs> There's a Linus Tech Tips video about that. <laughs> I'll let you go look that one up. I'll just I'll just let you do that one. <laughs> it's locked. That's only two socket. Not worth it. We could do Ort Soul, I believe. No, not Ort Soul. Ort um, Shale, I believe, is what it is. I always forget what it is. The crappy bow that a lot of people get in normal. No, nah, it's just a video where he basically took a um, condenser and attached it to his computer. Shoot that. Hey, there's a shale. Yay. 
but yeah. let's see did we miss the waypoint somewhere because I've gone oh it's gonna it's gonna be right there by the entrance isn't it isn't it it's gonna be right there by the entrance so let's go ahead and put up a town portal there we're gonna have to walk over there I was kind of hoping to run into it first before going down. That way I'd be able to go replace my bolts. Just doing shitty chilled air then, yeah. Pretty much. It's just like the... They also did one where they built a computer inside a fridge. It doesn't work, but... I mean, anyone who knows about that kind of stuff would tell you it doesn't work. I want to get back away from these guys. Wow, we missed all of you. Thanks. Can your shitty pathfinding be the same as my mercenary shitty pathfinding, please? Thank you. I oh, know your shitty desyncing is going to be as shitty as my mercenary's desyncing. Is ambient super high? Oh. Actually, I do have super high ambient temperatures in where I live, so. It is still, it's middle of the night, and it's currently still double digit Celsius in December. Well, November, December, it's close I enough. I can call it December. Uh, let's see, where the hell is the waypoint? I think I actually know where it is. It's not going to be here. I just want to find some bolts. That's a follow the skull and some arrows. I need a key. Maybe we should just pick up arrows and actually use that craft for once. Please, God, no. Don't make me resort to that. It's going to be right by the entrance. It's the only reason to do chill there. Yeah, because you're basically just transferring off heat. You're not trying to cool the fins. Well, I, I guess you would technically be cooling the fins because you're transferring heat off of them, but trying to get hit heat off the CPU and away from it, not just make things cold. Because cold air will eventually heat up if it's stagnant or anything like that. So let's see. This is a dead end. I'm getting annoyed by these guys, so I'm just running past them. I know that's not what I should be doing. I should be fighting them. Get more experience, get more levels. If I really do think... Oh, why are there so many of you fuckers? Stop. Stop coming after me. Because we can't seem to get any kind of, like, summon on our Valkyrie either. That was risky fighting him right next to me because he could have killed me. Changing from carpet to hardwood floor in your room lets your PC have a little bit more cooling. I actually keep my... And I'm I'm in a big agreement with a certain other YouTuber that talks about get your computer off the floor. Um, I actually have mine on the top shelf of my hutch. <laughs> so if there's an earthquake, I, I'm dead, but... <laughs> it's above me. But yeah, I keep my computer above... I'm not quite, I'm, I am not in like the middle of a desert or anything. And also fun little tidbit. And this is actually one reason why air conditioning in like Hong Kong and stuff like that is such a big thing is the more people using air conditioning, the more you need air conditioning because it's transferring the heat outside because the energy of the heat has to go somewhere. Let's see. That's why a lot of companies are actually building like data centers and stuff in northern regions and things like that. Keep the ambient low so you have to spend less cooling. Let's see. Just toss that there. This goes there. I need to condense those down a little bit. Well, guess what? You get to deal with 
Uh, let's go ahead and hide user on this channel. Yay, spammers. Can it ban them, please, already? Thank you. I don't know why YouTube does that, where it takes an hour and a half to ban something. That's so fucking irritating. Pardon my French, but... Seriously, YouTube, whenever I say ban someone, ban them. Thank you. And I really feel, like, sad if anybody falls for that nonsense. And for those of you wondering, it blocked four messages, and I don't know how many came through. But, yeah. I hate those bots. I really do. They're just irritating. It's not like anyone's dumb enough to fall for that crap. Oh, I don't have any gold on me. Yep. Be able to play on the toilet? Gangsta. I, I feel that one. If, if I had to choose one platform to actually play it on... As far as... Consoles, I would actually choose Switch. Yep, YouTube is basically... I'll block them eventually. If I feel like it. Yes. What's funny is we've actually not had them in stream for... Several streams so and I actually I have I don't think I've ever walked down here they need to put something down here if they're gonna have that blue shaco no you need a you need a white shaco <laughs> but oddly enough YouTube has gotten better at blocking some of the bots but they're still not great at it because there's still the... Oh, God. I'm trying to remember what kind of bot they're called. But basically, it's a spam bot that spams links. It's got an old Game Boy feel. Yeah, I, I like the Switch. I have a Switch. I need to do some Let's Plays off the Switch. But I need to actually set that up properly for it. God, Peasant Crown dropped today? Yay! Peasant Crowns are fun. You, I don't really bother upping them. Because all it does is give you a little bit of extra defense. But... As far as how good they are, they're actually really solid little helmets. They're basically your upgrade from lore before you get Shaco. Because they give, yeah, way better bonuses. Sorry, had to take a drink there. Time to deal with Mephisto. And I would have been so mad if that would have dropped a bolt. <laughs> I would have been like, bite me, game. Bite me. Oh, you're going to make a... I, you want it to look like a Shaco Shaco. Okay. But it's not green, dude. Let's see. Are they on that middle platform? They are not. They're going to be up here. And this is just basically free XP because they can't see me. And we have plenty of mana to just do this and, like, take a short break, then murder them some more. Oh, we've got some guys right there by the door, too. Lovely. Can I get my Valkyrie up by any chance? There's my Valkyrie. Yay, and we got slow missile on these guys as well. Not that it really does too much. They slow their fireballs down. Socket with an arrow rope. It doesn't work that way. Not with uniques. I wish it did. That would be hilarious, but that'd still be a dick move. I have done. I have kept an emerald um, cap, though. Uh, you wonder how the stream deck release in three months is going to be? Um, I don't know. I know that a friend of mine who ha knows absolutely nothing about technology said that their kids were wanting a stream deck for Christmas. <laughs> I'm like. Probably not going to get it, first of all. And second of all, on how much money you make, you might want to double check that before you say, oh, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll, it, it's, it's way out of your price range for the good ones, my friend. Because you might as well buy a desktop PC for that. A cheap one. Oh, here they come. They have spotted me. 
Thankfully, they kind of just have already been damaged a little bit, so it's not that bad. I am fine with these things shooting me. I am not fine with them killing my... I wish there was a way to heal the Valkyrie, by the way. And Iron Golem. I really wish there was a way to heal Iron Golems. I would use them more often, then. And these guys are considered melee enemies, so they are going to be dicks, by the way. Is Crescent Moon Runeward viable for Zealot? Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Is it best in slot? No, of course you're going to want like grief or something like that, but it, it's fine for a zealot. Let's see. I'm going to... Oh, this guy's immune to physical. You are a jerk. He's immune to physical and lightning. Oh, let's see. Did they enhance damage on certain enemies they feel like they hit harder? Um, Not really. Some of them are a little bit more irritating, like the minotaurs take advantage of the gut... Can you fucking stop? I'm trying to talk, you asshole. Back off. Why did it... S oh, you piece of shit. Why did it just lose lock on him randomly? That is horse shit. Okay. Anyway, we are guided arrowing him. But anyway, did they enhance damage on certain enemies? No, not that I'm aware of. But things like the... Um... Oh, whatchamacallit. The Frenzy Tours and stuff like that can be really irritating. I really wish our Valkyrie would summon. Wow. Can you cast... Mm. Game is pissing me off because it's not functioning properly at the moment. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and just shove this guy off. Can you stop randomly losing lock? Thank you. But yeah, it just keeps randomly losing lock and it's pissing me off like nobody's business. It's not even funny. It's just like, why? Why is this being a complete and utter dick? Go away, you jackass. Thank you. Okay. But no, there are... Oh, what the... Mm -hmm. Okay, mercenary, thank you. And why are they all physical immune? Swear to God. It's like, oh, you want to actually damage us? Tough shit. Okay, so it summoned a new one of those. That'll actually stand up to it. Um, he's not enhanced. Oh, wait. She got really bad rolls. No. No. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for getting really bad rolls, Valkyrie. I'm going to push him into a corner and kill him that way. That's just how we're going to do it. But yeah, it keeps dropping me physical immunes, which is not a fun thing. So, yep. There goes the Valkyrie. <sighs> Thanks for randomly just stopping lock. That's exactly what I intend to do. I don't know why it's randomly dropping lock. It's really being irritating. So I just kind of want to like just shank something real quick just because it's being that way. But still, um, these, there's other types of drops you've been getting though. We just got another rare ring from Trav, 24 life, one damn. I mean, that's, you already have all the good stuff. You don't really need to worry about getting other things, but I mean, I guess you can. And that's one thing about trading is you're not going to get all of these items just like right off the bat. But I really am. Uh, I 
I hate it whenever it does like a bunch of physical immunes all in a row when I'm playing a partially physical character. It's not the game's fault, it's just RNG, but it's frustrating. Give me more bolts. I think I still have a full stack in here. Yeah. Okay, time for Mephisto. Mephisto. And we'll be done with probably the most frustrating act in the game. I need a key. So we'll pop the armor stand, spiderweb sash. That would have been nice if it was unique. Okay, so we'll bait you with that. Come on. I know you can see me. Mr. Dude. Mr. Dude. Come down here. I know you know where I'm at. Come here. And yes, he will blizzard if he loses sight of you. Oh, and that's actually a good layout for us. Mercenary decided to get stuck up there. Haha! <laughs> His pathfinding helped us for once. So now we just cheese him. Because he can't see the mercenary because the mercenary is bugged. So Mephisto doesn't see him as a melee target. He sees him further away. And that's true of all act bosses. All act bosses do that behavior where they're considered melee units as far as their AI. They will attack the nearest target, prioritizing player, though. So... That's a thing. But yeah, Mephisto's gonna be easy. He'll just get stopped every now and then by the mercenary standing in the way. Kind of like the mercenary janks us sometimes. Mercenary doesn't get in our way, he just stops in a random location and it's frustrating. So anyway, while we're waiting for this, how are you guys doing? <laughs> we've basically done act three today, which was, it took a while. That's because we've been just kind of putzing around doing randomness stuff. So it's not a really big issue. So we'll just sit here doing magic arrow, not even using up our bolts. We'll just punch him in the face. That's all we need to do. And the reason I'm not summoning Valkyrie to help is because she will cause him to do a poison over there, which could kill Mercenary. And that's one downside to having peace as well, as it might randomly summon the Valkyrie up there too. But so far we've been kind of lucky with that. And since we didn't break sight with Mephisto right now, like, he can see us, he just can't target us. He's not going to do a blizzard on us. Whereas if we were, like, in one of those side rooms trying to duck in and out, he would drop a blizzard on us and rip our face open. Because his blizzard actually hurts quite a bit. I have gotten killed by it before. But this is the cheese way to get it if you are underleveled like we are and just kind of just horsing around. We're, of course, going to have to tank him whenever we are the next three classes because we agreed to do a martial arts assassin using a controller. And then we're going to have a zealot, and we're going to probably have a frenzy barb if I had to guess what I'm going to choose as my next one. So let's take the soul stone. Is any of the rest of this worth keeping? Not really, but I'll take it anyway for money. Actually, we'll take the brand of stock, I think. Definitely want the Grim Wand. Actually, we'll take the War Sword and the Scissors Guitar. And that'll leave us room for the Spiderweb Sash for even more money. Keep pressing O instead of I. Because I'm a dingus. We'll go ahead, and if it's not locked, we'll open this chest back here. It might be locked, though. I yeah, it's locked. Key. I need a key. That's one reason why we picked up that key earlier, and I forgot we had it. Um, you hit the lotto in the first two weeks, got two bears, two alms, one vex, one, two gold, two maul, two, um, three SOJs, but nothing since then. Oh, awesome. That's almost as much as you found in your old D2 LOD career. Yeah, ever since 1.13, the drops have been a bit better, though, and I think they did... I know this is kind of like a weird thought, but I think during the first couple weeks, they did actually raise the drop rates for some reason. I'm not entirely sure, but it felt kind of off. Just a hunch. Because our drops have been somewhat different. So is this good? No! Is this good? Yeah, we're going to keep it for the low sets, but it's not really that great. 
And he still doesn't identify stuff in the bloody stash. Because he's a jerk. He's a jerk! Kane is the true cause of evil. No, they've already revealed that he just... He's not in Diablo 3. So let's go ahead and get out the other two. These are probably going to be garbage as well. It's worth checking though, at least, I guess. Identify items. Waiting for the item to resolve. Find out whenever we go to sell them. Is it good? Uh, that's actually not... I mean, it's not terrible. It's not a high enough weapon base to be good, but it would actually be okay for a mid-level weapon. It would not be your end game weapon by any stretch of the imagination, but it, it's an okay mid-level. Let's repair everything. We already have full arrows there. You're missing your kid's birth? Watch this. I'm sorry. I mean, probably shouldn't miss that. Although it's not necessarily for the squeamish. Oh, uh, let's see. I don't have kids. I don't plan on having kids. I don't want kids. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of kids. It's not that they're all innately bad. It's that the bad ones are really irritating. Um, that's what everyone has said. Everyone says they patched the loot tables. No way to truly know unless we uncompile the CSV data packs for each patch. Even then? Because that can be changed server side. The no drops can really they can be super easily changed server side they would not have to push them through in single player so that could be strictly a server side patch they can adjust the drop rates server side and never have to patch the game at least if it functions like old diablo 2 because that was something that yeah you could log in even with mod setup and the servers set their own rules for that because it's a server side kind of effect it would be in the mon stats, I think, if I remember correctly, what they would adjust with that. Although what I think probably got adjusted was more the quality formula as opposed to the rate formula. So I think they probably had just normal no drop rates. But I think they might have like made certain things more common adjusted the weighting as opposed to adjusting the drop rates, if that makes sense. And honestly, I think it would be kind of cool if there was a way for them to do that, like, not necessarily on a per character basis, but basically give you a small magic find boost whenever a character is, before the character's beat in the game. And they sort of do that with the boss drop thing, where, like, if you kill a boss, the first time you kill a boss, you get a bonus kind of like to your drop on it that's where the Indarial bug is so important in that it boosts what she drops and now that it's like a common thing it's just nobody really thinks about it but yeah every boss has that like you will get a better drop from Diablo the first time you kill him you will get a better drop from Mephisto the first time you kill him that's why if I was being smart and not a just completely lazy bum right now I would totally have switched over to more magic find on their first kills for Mephisto just then and for a few other things. But I'm fine with what we get. I don't really care too much. Most of the things I want are not magic find based. They're just, they will drop if they drop. I think you have noticed that whenever you have found, there's like three games with the same item within like one or two games after you found that item. Like you found a bone shade, almost perfect. And then probably found another one soon after. Um, if you're playing single player, you can actually the the way if you if it saves your maps which it does in single player you'll actually run into a situation where if you have a normal spawn for a unique like a unique boss you can actually end up getting the same drop over and over again i ended up getting a ton of my you i i have dozens literal dozens of ik hammers because of that because it, it does the map seed is the same so whenever it goes to run the numbers you'll have very similar circumstances so you'll get that ik a lot if you're not changing your magic finding amount so it's very strange but there was one map that i had i've i've lost the map since now 
where right next to the waypoint was a boss pack, and it almost always dropped in Mortal King's hammer. Well, eh, RNG is not perfect, and the Diablo 2 RNG is far from perfect either. It's not true RNG, and you're not going to get that with any kind of, like, game. 